around four uh, or five years ago, I entered this weird season um, where I, I, I just got so tired and I got so burnt out from not only ministry, but from everything that I did. I got to a place where every time I walked into a church meeting, every time I walked into a worship rehearsal, I just didn't want to be there anymore. I was only able to put on a mask for, for so long uh, before other people could kind of see through what I was going through. Uh, people told me I just wasn't myself and I looked, I looked dead. Uh, I lost passion, I lost my desire and pretty much everything I was doing, especially when it came to ministry and, and doing church stuff, just became harder and harder and I ended up doing things out of obligation more than more than wanting to do it for the Lord. I remember getting to a place where I just had to stop and I made a phone call to my lead pastor and he talked to me for a good chunk of time. And I remember that conversation very clearly. He encouraged me um, to not give up, but at the same time that I really needed rest. I was so encouraged to know that my pastor and, and my leaders at that time um, wanted me to get healthy and so what ended up happening was that they encouraged me to step back they encouraged me to take a few months off um, to get healthy to, to start focusing on my relationship with God again uh, my relationship with my family uh, and to spend time just to rekindle that uh, before stepping back in to ministry I think that through that whole season that I went through, um, something that both me and my wife had to go through together, um, a couple of things that I think I learned the most was one, to be really open and, and vulnerable in what you're going through, um, not to keep it in, not to think that you need to go through this alone, um, but to find people you trust to be able to share and be open with your circumstance, um, with your capacity in, in, in being able to do what you need to do because I realized that I am not Superman, nor do I need to think that I am. Um, secondly, I think one thing that I really believe is so important is to, is to really have, have mentors, to have people that speak into your life, especially in circumstances like that where, um, where they can be there to listen and to, to pick you back up. And lastly, I think just the, the need to rest. I was not good at that. And I'm such a big doer, and I, I easily fall into this place where I just keep going and going. Um, but I've realized in these last few years that the need for, for rest, the need to set up rhythms in your life that aren't just doing, but you actually allow yourself to, to be uh, with God, to be with your family, to do things that give you life rather than um, suck it all away. Um, and so, you know, I know that there are probably people even listening or, or watching or that you might even be in this situation where you're burnt out or you're tired um, yeah and you, you feel like you're doing things out of obligation and I want to encourage you to, to get the rest you need um, to, to talk to the people that are around you um, that could pick you back up and I think one of the biggest things for me is really a perspective change uh, out of that whole season where I realized that I'm really not needed by God God doesn't need me to do this, but in fact, he, he actually desires me and invites me to be a part of his work. And so that shift has been so instrumental for me where now I, I see what I do in ministry, when I worship lead, when I serve a church, um, that we get to be a part of this and I enjoy doing it. It's not out of obligation, but something um, yeah, that we're invited to. And I really appreciate that perspective change.